Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to screen record on any model of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. So first of all, let's set up the screen recorder. We do this by opening up settings, search, and then inside of search, you want to search up for screen recorder. And once you've done that, you're going to see advanced features, screenshots, and screen recorder. You want to tap into this one here, just tap on it. And once you're here, you're going to scroll down and you see screen recorder. So let's configure this together. First of all, sound. So this is the default option which will show up before the screen recording starts. So let's go through each option. No sound refers to when you are, are doing the recording your screen, the only thing that will be captured is the screen itself. Uh, no system sounds will be captured, no mics will be captured either. Media sounds refers to audio coming from the tablet itself will also be captured by the screen recorder. So what we're talking about here is let's say you're playing a game, let's say PUBG, and you know the music and the sound effects, those will all be captured. You're typing on the keyboard, uh, if there's sounds coming out, those will also be captured. And then media sounds and mic is those sounds which I was speaking about earlier, plus the microphones on the tablet itself. So let's say you can hear me right now, I'm speaking, I'm speaking into the mics. If you're speaking into the mics, that will also be captured. If there are any sounds around you, those will also be captured as well. So just choose which one you're going to use the most frequently here. I'm just going to set this to media sounds as, you know, I'm going to use that the most frequently. Then we see here video quality. So video quality is by default it's set to 1080p high. Now most YouTube videos are recorded at 1080p. This one's recorded at 4K. However, the uh, screen of the tablet itself isn't at 4K. If you're on the S8 Ultra, you may see the 4K option. However, if you're on the Tab S8 Plus, which I am, I don't, or the Tab S8 will be the same story. So I recommend you leave this at 1080p. However, if you're running low on storage, you may want to set this to 720p. There's no real good situation where you want to record at 480p unless the content itself, let's say you're playing an old game, like, you know, a GameCube game, and you're playing now at 480p, then maybe, you know, it wouldn't be worth recording at a higher quality, so you just set that at 1080p. Then we have the selfie video size, so this is the size of the selfie uh, view. I'll show what that is in a minute. It really depends, are you going to use this or not? If you're not going to use it, just leave it at default. If you are going to use it, you want to set this to the largest one possible. So what we're going to do to activate the screen recorder, we're going to swipe down from the top once, we're going to swipe down one more time, and we're going to be brought to the control center. We're going to swipe to the left, and you see a screen recorder, we're going to tap into this one here. And you see start recording with screen recorder. So remember the sound settings earlier, the default one we set, which was media sound. You can see that is set by default. However, every time it will give you the option. So you can always change it around if you're feeling, you know, one day I want media sounds, one day I want no sounds, etc. And so what we do is we tap on start recording, give it a countdown to so three seconds. You can also tap on skip, uh, skip countdown if you need to. Now the recording has started. So here's the thing, we have the pause recorder, stop recorder. So if you pause the recorder, it's going to pause, you tap on it one more time, it will resume. Stop recorder, stops the recording. Next we have this here. This is the selfie camera I was talking about earlier. So you can see, there is my uh, face here. And so if you can see, this is my index finger, it is recording the front camera. If I just cover up, where is the front camera? <laughs> this is the top here. So if I just cover up the front camera, you can see that is uh, also recording the front camera as well. If you tap on that one more time, it will stop the recording. Now the uh, editing tool, this allows you to draw around. You can see here, just like that. You can you know, undo your edits. You can tap on this to change the color. If you tap on the uh, uh, thing one more time, it will stop the recording. Now, if you tap on the arrow here, you can see it will hide the recorder and you can see it's now at the very side. You swipe to left and it will bring it back out. Now this option here, this option is not useful, you don't need to worry about this at all, so I'm just not going to brush it over, because you can see if I tap on it, it doesn't do anything, it just shows your location, so don't worry about it. But once you're done, you're just going to tap on stop recording here, so we'll just tap on that, and you can see re uh, the recording has been saved. So in order to see the recording, we go into the gallery, we can see that is that screen recording we did. So let's tap on it, and you can see if I move around, see my face, you can see me annotating. Now, here's the thing with the screen recorder. If you swipe around on the home screen, that will all be captured. If you go into applications, that will also be captured. Everything you do on your device itself will be captured by the screen recorder. So keep that in mind. You don't need to worry about, you know, if you start screen recording on the home screen, do you need to stop it, restart when you open up a game? Do not worry about that. However, here's the thing, which is if you start the screen recording, let's say in portrait mode, and then you go into a game which is in landscape mode, you may want to know how to edit the recording. So let's go into gallery. And once we're in gallery, we'll tap on the recording. We're going to tap on edit. And you can see what we can do is we can do some editing. So this button right here 
allows you to rotate the recording. So you just tap on this here. So let's say you started the recording in portrait mode. However, inside the game, you go into landscape mode. Well, from portrait, you just tap on rotate until you're in landscape. Just double check that area of the video which you want, uh, which is the landscape, you know, looks fine. And then you're good to go. And then also you have the cut tool. So you can cut out, you know, the beginning part while you're on the home screen. Let's say you're opening up a game. You can do that as well. You also have a bunch of other options here. I recommend you just mess around and uh, have a good time. But those are the two main features you want to mess around with. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.